Hi everybody, and here we are. We're at Meadow Run Creek. And this is a deep hole. Got a fish on the left there. Might be able to head down there a little bit and do some metal detecting. Might head up the flat rock. All right, we got our first signal here. 85, 86, bouncing around a little bit. It's right there. Oh, I left my screwdriver over there, but good thing this is just sand. going to be a soda can. Yep. That's an old Milwaukee. Yep, old Milwaukee beer. The old beaver tail. Alright, cover this up and Catch you on the next signal. And we're back here at Deep Hole. As you can see, there's been a lot of people here throughout the years and they've carved their name and initials all through this tree. Pretty cool. All right, I'll see you at the first beep. All right, we're getting a couple 78 79 signals here so we're gonna pinpoint these and most likely they're probably pennies but... oh. well, there's one right there We're getting a nickel signal here. It's probably a pool tab. Nope. Let's sink her. All right, we'll catch you at the next beat. All right, we're getting some multiple signals here. It's bouncing all over the place. Seems to be right there, so let's see if we can pinpoint what's setting it off. Not sure what that is. Big chunk of iron. There's gonna be something else over here. And we got another penny. Like a 2000. Yep, 2000. All right, that's two pennies for today. I was just getting a really high tone signal here. Shoved in between some rocks. And we have our first quarter for the day. In 1981. Not sure how long it's been down there. It doesn't look like too long though. Awesome. We'll see you at the next beep. 
Not sure what this is doing down here at the creek, but it's an old canning lid. I just found it in the between those two rocks right there. It's an interesting find for the creek. It has to be pretty old. All right, we'll see you at the next beep. All right, we just found a penny here. It's been here for a long time. It's a 1979. Look at the green patina on that. It's about three inches down in that hole right there. I didn't think it was going to be much of anything, but it turned out to be 1979, year I was born. Awesome find. We'll catch you at the next beep. There might be something else in here, so we'll, if there is, I'll bring the camera back on. All right, we're getting another signal right here underneath this big rock here. It's kind of in the nickel range, aluminum range, so I'm not expecting anything good. Could be another fishing lure. Seems to be, I think I see it there. Yeah trash. Well, at least cleaning it up a little bit. See you at the next beep. Well, that, this is about the all the little bit of area that I can search here today. I'd like to come back here a little bit later this summer when this water's down a little bit. They call this deep hole because that's probably anywhere from six to eight feet depending on the water level. That rock straight across over there used to jump off of it when I was a kid and also that this rock right here used to jump off of it into there. It looks like there's a tree in the way now, but I may bring my magnet down here and toss it in there and see if anybody has lost anything because people still come swimming here and jump off those rocks. They never know. And once the water gets a little bit lower, I'd like to check down in here, walk through the creek with the metal detector, see if there's anything laying in the creek. Right now the water's a little too cold and a little too high to be walking it because I didn't bring the proper shoes. But I think we're gonna head up to Flat Rock for a little bit and see what we can find there. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, everybody, this is Flat Rock at Meadow Run Creek. This is another little popular swimming area for tourists and locals. I used to come here all the time too, also when I was a kid. As you can see right here, we got the, uh, a small natural water slide the bigger natural water slides are further down, and I'd like to check those out uh, later this summer. I'd actually like, once the water, again, once the water level goes down, walk up through there. And what I'm going to be doing today is over here in this sandy area, a little bit of rocks. See if we can find anything, if anybody's lost anything. And also, when the weather gets warmer and the water gets a little bit warmer, I'd actually like to go in here with the metal detector and get into the water a little bit and see if we can find anything. All right, I will start hitting up this little beach area and see if we can find anything. I'll see you on the first beep. All right, we're getting our first signal here. It's a 76, 77, about two inches down here to an inch. So let's see what we have here. Most likely a penny. Uh, bring the camera up a little bit here. Yep. There it is. And it is a penny. Had the camera angle wrong. So in 2015. All right, so that's three pennies for today. We're up to 28 cents. All right, catch you at the next beep. Took me a little while to find it, but it's a Copenhagen lid. Yeah, it was about five inches down. All right, cleaning it up a little bit more. We'll get back at you at the next beep. All right, we're right here at the edge of the water getting a solid 80, 82 signal. See what we can find here. Oh. Yeah, right 
right there it is we have a copper penny cannot read the date on that one looks like maybe in 1964 too bad that wasn't a dime or a quarter but we'll take it up 29 cents all right catch you at the next beep and we're just a few feet down from the last 80 signal you can see here we're getting another 81 82 and it's right in there uh, and get down here without falling in the water and this is not very easy on the knees So it's up underneath this rock here. There it is. See the green patina on that one? It's another penny. We are definitely not getting a date off of this one. It's been there for a long time. All right, we'll see you at the next beat. I just found a couple more pennies by the water's edge there. And we're getting a good 85, 86 signal here. About two inches down there. Right beside this huge rock. Let's see if we can get positioned ourselves. Bring this up a little bit. And we have another penny. Looks like a 1980. All right. On to the next find. We'll see you at the next beep. Well, I just pulled out a handful of fishing weights, and behind it was a quarter. I think it's a 1974. Can't really tell. I'll have to clean it up a little bit better. But always recheck your holes. You just never know. Another great find. We'll see you at the next beep. I've just got another 79 signal. Flipped over a rock. Don't know, see, don't know if you guys can see it or not. But right underneath the rock is another penny. Another cool find. Seems to be a good area right here. Just in this three foot square, four foot square area. I've probably found about 30, 35 cents so far. All right, we'll see you at the next beep. So just up from the last penny, we're getting an 89 signal, which is about usually a quarter. So let me take the bag off here. I was getting ready to walk out of here again. I guess it would help if I turned it on. Yeah. There it is. Another quarter. This looks like a newer quarter. A state quarter. Oh. Take my glasses off to be able to read the date, maybe. Can't tell. I have to clean this one up a little bit better when we get home. Find out what it is. But another good find. So there is treasure here. See you at the next beep. All right, we're still in the same little area. And my memory card and battery are running low. So this might be the last find on camera. Oh, we got a fishing, third fishing lure for today. That one's a little bent. We'll put it in our bag. Yeah, maybe that was it. Run the detector over it again. 
that, we'll see you at the next beep.